In this video, I'm going to introduce you to adding modules to your Joomla pages. So, in Joomla, the main text of a page is shown in generally in this area. And modules are shown in other spots. So, there, there can be like a box here or a slideshow there. And they can be shown on multiple pages. So, modules are very useful in terms of creating some content to show in a set position across multiple pages. Now in Joomla 4, you, on, from the dashboard you can simply click here to add modules or you can go to content and site modules. Now under the existing modules on this template there are so many modules to choose from that it can be a bit confusing. So what I'm going to do in order to know where to add my new module is I want to see where modules are already in use on the website. So I'm going to click on the filter and I'm going to select the uh, home page of the website and I'll also select only the published ones and here we go. Here's, there's only a handful of modules on the home page and this gives me an idea of the positions that are being used. Side call 1, side call 2 would be the side column here and the side column there. And showcase 1 would be the slideshow position. And base 1 would be our footer down here. So now let's add a new, new module. Click New. We get a, a list of different things that can be added. You can read through and choose your own features here, but often it's very useful just to click custom and this will enable you to simply type in the content that you want. Test, 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 test. And we add a test title. We choose to show the title and then we have to choose a position based on what we saw earlier we can go to side col 1 or 2 which is left or right uh, B would appear in this case below A but I'll just choose 1A and then under menu assignment I choose which pages will show this module I want it to be on a handful of pages I'll click no pages and then I'll add the ones that I want and that would be the main options that you would normally use. When you're done, click save and close. And then let's go to the website, refresh it. And here is our new content. Going back to the list of modules, we can see it listed here now. And we can then disable or trash it as we want. Trash or even duplicate it to make a copy of it and then edit as we want. So this is a very basic guide to adding modules to your Joomla website. 